And now, finally, some live gameplay footage from an actual campaign mission of Rotten Reich. Take a look at that, all those World War I uniforms and World War I equipment with maybe some World War II stuff mixed in. This game seems to take things from the First World War and Second World War and blend them together in an era where it seems the First World War never ended in this world and continued on to where technology had improved greatly, but not to where it was in World War II. However, we could see some World War II weaponry that was possibly used late and post-war. These tanks are a fantastic example of that, where it seems like these could be tanks from World War I and definitely would be very early World War II tanks, but it is great to see some fantasy taken into account here. Obviously, with our units being rats and, and uh, different types of creatures and vermin, I mean, you've already thrown out your uh, disbelief, I guess, at the door as you've stepped into this realm of different types of kingdoms and such, fighting one another, and it looks great. I gotta say, I really like the uh, technology already being used here. Rifles and uh, what look to be World War I machine guns being used on that roadway. That looks gorgeous. A dirt road with mud and uh, different types of soil and puddles along it. Some downed trees and bushes and other areas for concealment. Although I'm not sure how that'll be taken into the gameplay just yet. It looks like now our troops are going to take out a British soldier. Well, I guess that's the closest thing I can say for now as they push towards a crossroad and a house that's being held by the enemy. Looks like there's an elevated position here that they're going to attack from, and that will be great as a lot of these units here work as they do in Call to Arms and Gates of Hell Ostfront or Men of War Assault Squad, where units can be commanded individually, but also at the squad level. Obviously, taking a group of those soldiers and moving them together in contrast to how it is in Company of Heroes and Company of Heroes 3 and 2 and whatnot, where you're commanding full squads. Some gas being thrown there by the enemy, I believe, and uh, hitting some of our soldiers there. One of our soldiers down, and also a few of the troops down in the roadway and on the bridge here. Looks like a soldier's being pushed up here now to throw a grenade and taking out those troops there. And the second one, too. Excellent. Great grenade throws here, a success from this group as they took an elevated position, provided overwatch and suppressing fire on that house, and then coming in quick with the grenade. So one soldier in this, just like it is in Men of War Assault Squad or Gates of Hell, can really change the battle, especially if the squad is working to suppress another squad or other soldiers as they try to flank around and either destroy the enemy uh, by a group by grenade or, or just by flanking. In this case, it looks like we're also looking at a open field with an elevated position and, of course, machine guns. Look at that. It looks to be a variant of the... Is that the Lewis gun? Yeah, it looks to be. And the enemy is armed with uh, several of those, so we're going to have to push up and uh, take them out from the flanks. And uh, in this gameplay, yeah, the developer's doing a good job of uh, kind of staying back and assessing the situation and putting on gas masks for their soldiers. Interesting. So we did learn earlier that the enemy did have gas, and uh, we might have access to that as well. Down below, it looks like there could be smoke grenades or chemical grenades. And yeah, the squad pretty clumsily clunking up there into one large uh, glob. And that, of course, is a death sentence for machine guns and artillery. But at least micro-commanded, they can be very effective. And again, the individual will be very effective here if a group provides a lot of cover. Now, one thing I already want to see in this game is vehicle combat, and I also want to see emplacements such as heavy machine guns and mortars and maybe artillery as well that you'll have to fight against in order to push up. Now, we have seen that in the trailers. It's confirmed to be in there, but I really want to see our ability to command that more, perhaps providing things like a creeping barrage or smoke cover before attacking an enemy position. Looks like that machine gun there crossing the road as our soldiers move up again to throw a grenade. Possibly a chemical grenade this time as uh, the soldiers were equipped with gas masks. And yes, indeed, a successful hit on that position and that soldier is not moving from that position. One of them uh, now killed and the other one possibly wounded. Oh, a grenade coming in and killing one of those squad members there. And the remaining three, uh, four, five from that position who survived the attack are now pushing up to the top of the village. Very good. Very fast-paced gameplay here. I'd like to see the ability to go prone and possibly also uh, move more aggressively at different types of speed. Wow, a lot of grenades being thrown back and forth here. So the aggressive gameplay of Men of War is present here. And also moving from cover to cover to take positions quickly and making sure that you're always behind cover. Looks like one more soldier here that needs to be down, possibly an officer, or at least the last in the village that needs to be cleared. Taking the high ground, very important here. Staying behind cover, very important. 
and also making sure that you flank the enemy. Very important. Speed and accuracy and cover and concealment and throwing grenades. Of course, your own speed will be important here as you quickly have to choose a way to mitigate enemy forces. Like, for example, I'd like to see some non-linear gameplay as a convoy could come down the road and your choices are, do you set up TNT to knock down some trees and then set up an ambush? Do you lay mines? Do you lay obstacles? That type of thing. Looks like this is going to be a successful kill on this um, soldier here, one of the last ones. And it looks like the village is now clear. Some pretty good fast-paced gameplay, eliminating soldiers separated from all around the map. No real clear layout as to where they were, so they were all kind of just, uh, I guess, patrolling this area. And both sides taking some losses and a very bloody push against the enemy there. Well, it looks like they're down to possibly four soldiers out of a squad that seemed to have a, about 12 or so, but I'm sure some reinforcements are coming. I do like how the HUD is somewhat minimal here. We're getting some story elements at the bottom, but for the most part it looks like the um, things on screen here are the ability to throw grenades, equip gas masks, and or uh, their posturing, uh, how they're going to move down roadways and such. Approaching a bridge now, this world looks great. The water looks wonderful, all the sunlight. Troop movements, the animations all look fantastic. I want to see more for vehicles, though, and emplacements and special off-map attacks that we can utilize for more strategies. But I'll settle for what we've got so far for uh, reinforcements coming in. There we go, some off-map stuff there. So more forces joining as we now need to push to the top of the hill. And it looks like there's a very strange-looking house over there. I do like how uh, some of the buildings seem to be made of thatch and there's wagons and barrels around it really seems like uh, a earth uh, in a some sort of an alternative reality or history although again we're using rats and such that represent uh, Germans and mouse that represents the British and other types of uh, factions obviously wanting to see more biomes too such as Asia and colder climates and urban combat too which there is some factions that actually do combat in those uh, areas as well and represent those factions too such as the uh, Imperial Japanese uh, possibly the Navy perhaps there's some naval troops for that and also of course the uh, Soviet Army but represented with different types of creatures bugs and such in here as well so uh, you've already left your disbelief at the door if you're uh, watching this but what's interesting is when you zoom out you can't really tell that you're commanding um, anything but just uh, troops here and wow that was a great fast kill from that machine gunner and he's downed as well so the troops aren't necessarily bullet sponges maybe one or two rounds and they're downed but it does seem important to hold the high ground and move tactically as you would in a game like XCOM where you want to set up overwatch and make sure you keep the enemy suppressed again while you move in with grenades or whatnot to make sure that you've got the advantage when attacking especially when you're attacking because if you go from 12 troops down to four as they did before and receive reinforcements that's a very razor thin margin to be able to push through a enemy held territory especially yeah if you're dealing with a machine gun uh, such as we are here multiple machine guns and possibly more elite troops wow another one down there and uh, one more over here as well that they're more than likely going to uh, take down with a maybe a grenade that's what I would do at this point looks like our troops also have uh, bayonets and they should be able to do melee combat that way <laughs> one of the soldiers there taking himself out with a grenade throw into the roof but I would like to see that for this game as well they do during the trailer hint at some of the um, the uh, damage to buildings so that's definitely something I want to see a little bit more in the game uh, on the infantry side although it is quite clear that things like tanks and artillery could easily destroy buildings and remove cover I would like to see some more for the ability to make cover some engineering units they do allude to some of that in the trailers that there are uh, engineering units and special squads that are part of the story although if that's into the gameplay I'm not entirely sure but it is quick fast-paced and split-second decisions that will make or break your attack or your defense here and with other units such as flamethrowers and uh, grenadiers and some other uh, types of uh, light armored tanks it'll be really good to see infantry warfare with and against other types of uh, tanks and armored vehicles but it's got me excited and I am interested and I wanted to throw up some more uh, footage and some other photos of the game as there's quite a lot to unpack here I don't really know what type of scale of a game we're looking at but if it's anything like how the story played out for games like Iron Harvest that was really promising and I enjoyed the type of gameplay that that delivered with a story on top of what seemed to be what Company Heroes did well 
and then certain things done even better and that's great and to have more games that are somewhat similar and it kind of go further into or elaborate upon things that were successful in the others such as Men of War Assault Squad coming from Men of War, Men of War Assault Squad 2 coming from Men of War Assault Squad, and then into Call to Arms, and then back into Gates of Hell, and then of course games coming along like Company of Heroes, they all blend together into these new styles where I really truly think it is impossible for a game to be made now without being inspired by all sorts of other games, and when it comes to real-time strategy games, I feel like we're starting to see more real-time tactical game or turn-based tactical games with tactical pause and I would love to see more RTS games and more base building and such. Not sure if this will have base building, not sure if it'll have the ability to uh, command large amounts of vehicles, maybe it'll be just a specialty unit on the field, perhaps it'll work as it does in Company Heroes where you just get a few, but for as expansive as this world feels and how open it could be, there's a lot of potential here. I got a lot of hope and I want it to be a real big winner because that's going to be just more for us to play. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at things from the perspective of the developer. Uh, here was just some music with me reacting to some of the gameplay and what I think is good. And I want to see more. I still want to see more and more and more because these types of things bring up more questions. But let's see what they have to say. Some more footage and other teasers and things that we may have missed from our last coverage of Rotten Reich. And let's go ahead and see it now thanks again guys for subscribing thank you very much for being here if you've watched this far just give me a number one down below in the comment section and uh, let me know what you think of this game so far do you love it do you hate it what do you think could be changed what are you uh, skeptical about what are you excited about and uh, what is something you would like to uh, see that you haven't seen yet uh, what types of things are missing from RTS games in general and what are some things that you'd like to see perhaps in a co-op mode or a multiplayer mode that we hadn't seen before let me know all right, let's enjoy. I was 17 years old when the war began. At the time, I had no idea what nations and their leaders were capable of. I still remember those sunny days, ones where the light would shine through the clouds, swimming up above. My little sister was playing outside during one such day, when a sudden explosion caused little Emma to vanish from my sight. Then came another explosion, and another. War had arrived in my country. Those who were once allies had now become our cowardice enemies. The entire country was wracked by the betrayal of a once loyal friend. Our chancellor had ordered an immediate call to arms. We had no choice but to fight back. I had no choice but to avenge the death of my dear sister. They will regret the moment they entered our land and killed our families. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Koshelkov and I'm founder and CEO of Criteo. And today is a very special day. We just got a build for the game called Rotten Reich. Some of you guys probably have been following the game for, since the Kickstarter last year. And uh, today we finally can try it out. It's a pre pre alpha, a very early build. Uh, I'm going to check it out and see what's up. So you guys stick around and let's try it out. And today I will command the 511th Ost-West Infantry Corps of the Rat Army. Here you can see that my corps is ready to take on a new mission and are in the middle of a combat briefing. Our goal is to find a missing detachment of Allied fighters from the 14th and 27th Corps. I'm sending my soldiers to complete the task at hand. From the briefing I was informed that we may be met with resistance from the FMR Alliance. Here it seems that our units had collided with enemy and suffered losses. It looks like this is the course I was tasked to locate. Some may have survived. As we continue our mission, we received confirmation in inbound reinforcements. We stumbled upon an enemy patrol that immediately opened fire. Well, that's not a big issue. Let's take them down. I received information that on the hill in front of us, there is enemy fortification. 
The previous dispatch was assigned to destroy enemy ammunition depot. However, they apparently failed. It looks like skirmish with enemy has caused the remnants of missing squad to return to the road and join mine. It seems that there's an enemy choke point ahead. I'd say there could give us moderate resistance. This guy looks like to be a platinum leader, since he doesn't have a combat rifle. He does however have a revolver and unique painted helmet. The map design is built in a way that I can choose multiple passes to achieve my goal. But since there is a quite a lot of brave rats in my squad, I will send some of them to gain the ground. This platoon will go around. And from here you will see the third platoon that will flank from the right. There are several grenade types available in Rat and Reich. One of them is a good old fashioned gas grenade, which is being used against us now. I'll have my units put on the gas mask. While my middle platoon is holding against an onslaught and distracting the enemy, I'll order the platoon on the right to begin the attack. We'll try to use frag grenades in order to force the enemy out of the cover. Well, it seems that we managed to eliminate the enemy without too many casualties. Let's continue to move towards the objective at hand. This looked like a village I was informed about. Enemy resistance is more than likely, and Violet recommends reusing frag grenades against enemy fortifications. We'll do that. Here's another platoon leader with a legendary mouse machine gun, Nilius, which I think will open suppressive fire on my troops as soon as we enter their territory. And a couple more mice are fortified on the hill. Let's put on the gas mask just in case an enemy will use the gas grenade. Well, let's give it a go. I'll send a few rat boys through the wheat fields and let others come in from the left flank. Uh oh, the enemy opened a suppressive fire on us listen closely to the sound design. I think this game has a pretty great sound that convey the mood of the war really really well. I don't think we're gonna get any reinforcements in the meantime. The enemy has a pretty strong cover advantage. Let's try to get closer. Let's try to smoke out the enemy with a grenade. Oops, <laughs> my bad, we'll give him a medal for bravery. Let's continue to advance on the left flank. We're suffering losses, but let's push through. Finally, we took up a position with an advantage. It seems that the enemy has a few units still left in the village. I'll need to clear a village, otherwise it's not safe here. Alright, my units report a sweep of the area. We're good. And here's the general of the Rat Army known as Gies Kaffenkopf. He tells us that we need to move on. There is another enemy fortification in the village further down the road. The previous unit was supposed to get some important data.
it seems like we only have four soldiers that survived. I don't know if we can complete this mission with such a limited rat power, but we will try. Well, it seems like much needed reinforcement has been sent in to help us. On top of that, we should have a geographical advantage in this area as we're attacking from above. The enemy is strongly fortified. I don't think this will be easy, but as always, it worth a try. Let's try. As you guys can see, unlike in classic RTS, in Ratenreich the map landscape are quite diverse. As you can see, in this location there are quite a lot of hills, which are not common for other strategy games. This map design will allow us to easily add the first person view, which I think will be quite interesting. We have a lot of fans eager for an FPS mode. That will be awesome. Well alright, let's start advancing. We'll secure the uphill position and send our machine gunner forward so that we can gain some ground and pin down the enemy. mouse with a bayonet and with successful approach my soldier will go into hand-to-hand -hand combat and we were lucky this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this early sneak peek at rat and rake pre 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 alpha build we're super open for your feedback please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video we're going to share more rat and rake videos down the road signing off bye bye